Hi, Peter King with the MMQB, and welcome to One on One with Peter King, presented by the new Windows. I was in Denver this week, had an opportunity to talk to the new 2013 Sports Illustrated Sportsman of the Year, Peyton Manning. Here's that interview. Hey, Peyton, congratulations on the award. Everybody at Sports Illustrated is so thrilled that, uh, that you are our 60th winner of the Sports Illustrated Sportsman of the Year. Thank you, Peter. It's very special. Uh, I was reading the uh, list of former winners and uh, realized that it was the 60th, that Roger Bannister was the first winner, and then uh, Arnold Palmer. Um, never thought I'd win the same award as Stan the Man Usual. <laughs> so uh, so just there's some true legends on that list, and I, I really don't uh, feel, uh, feel worthy, but uh, I gratefully accept this award. Uh, it's very, very special. You had a moment at practice where you wanted to say something to your teammates and to your coach, John Fox, about this. What'd you say to him? Well, Coach Fox uh, recognized uh, me today at practice uh, uh, receiving this award and just gave me a chance to uh, just to thank Coach Fox and his staff, uh, all of my teammates, and really all the Broncos support staff, your trainers, equipment, video guys. Uh, these folks have helped me so much in the past year and a half in my transition out here to Denver. Uh, these past two years with my injury have been life-changing for me, and uh, the Denver Broncos sure have given me great support uh, and help in that transition. I just want to let them know that I accept this award really on behalf of them and how grateful I am for all of their help and support. I thought it was very interesting when I saw you here at training camp this summer. One of the things I said to you, or I asked you a question, what do you think you'll be doing in 15 years? <laughs> and you wouldn't answer the question. And I thought it was so interesting. Why wouldn't you answer that question? Well, I think maybe had you asked me two years ago, I, I might have had more uh, of an idea. But uh, like I said, the, these past two years have, uh, have truly changed uh, uh, my life. And so I'm really in a new place and kind of in the second chapter of my football career. And I'm taking that chapter uh, one page at a time. And so uh, it feels so good to be back out onto the field playing this great game. And uh, I realized after that injury, I think I always have realized this, but uh, it was certainly reinforced that next year certainly is not promised. And so I, I am all in for 2013, and I'm certainly enjoying this year. You know, the one thing about what you're doing right now is you're doing, doing it with a whole new cast of characters, and you're doing it just two years after not having any idea whether you're going to be able to play anymore. What has that done to your, not to be cliche, but to your love of the game and, and playing football again after not knowing whether you could? Well, I've always had a passion for the game, but when you are out for a year, uh, you certainly miss certain things. Uh, being uh, in that huddle, uh, flying back on the plane uh, after a big victory, um, the, uh, the weight room and uh, after practice throwing sessions with your receivers, they're going to make a difference and help you win a game on Sunday. You just, don't, you just don't get to participate in those activities when you're not playing and you're injured. So to get back out on the field, uh, I have more of an appreciation for the little things. Everybody enjoys playing football in the games, but I have more of an appreciation for the small details, the things that you, don't, that you won't get to do after you stop playing football. So um, it, those, uh, those moments have been even more special. I wonder also what it must feel like for you after thinking that you were going to start and end your career in one place. To come to Denver, has it been a re-energizing thing for you or is part of you always going to be in Indianapolis? Well, certainly part of me will always be there, but it has been re-energizing uh, to play here in Denver, to be in a new culture, play for a great head coach and John Fox, and to meet some new teammates and learn really some new uh, football ideas. Uh, I've had some new offensive coordinators uh, the past two years that have challenged me uh, mentally from the cerebral part of the game. Uh, I never think you can stop learning football. So at 37 years old, to be challenged to learn some new offensive offensive place to learn timing with new teammates. It's not easy, but it has been stimulating. And so in many ways, uh, it's, it's really been a blessing. We'll close with this. You know, when Sports Illustrated picks a Sportsman of the Year, it isn't only about what happens on the field. And I told our editors, Chris Stone and Paul Fichtenbaum, a story about last year after one of the most crushing defeats of your career. 
right here in this stadium against the Baltimore Ravens, that you waited for about 15 minutes afterwards with your wife and with your son for Ray Lewis to come out. Why'd you do that? Well, uh, uh, Ray Lewis uh, has been the greatest defensive player that I've ever played against. And I knew that was going to be his last game. And uh, you just don't cross paths with those players uh, once they stop playing. So it was definitely a disappointing uh, uh, night. Um, but uh, I thought it was the appropriate thing to do to go over and pay respect uh, to one of the greatest defensive players of all time and the best player of my era. And uh, took the moment. And I was glad that I did it. You know, it's I played the Ravens this year. It wasn't the same not seeing number 52 over there. I haven't seen him since that moment and, and realized that I won't see him quite as often. So uh, I, I guess that that was an example of sportsmanship. It certainly wasn't easy, I can promise you that, but uh, I was glad that I did it because uh, I thought he deserved my respects. Peyton, thank you very much. We really appreciate you uh, sharing this night with us here in Denver, and uh, congratulations on the award. Peter, thanks very much. Our thanks to Peyton Manning, and congratulations on the 2013 Sports Illustrated Sportsman of the Year Award. That's it for One on One with Peter King, presented by the new Windows. I'm Peter King.